Smoke, flames, cries for help. How do emergency medical service crews learn how to handle the unexpected? Well, this is actually a day-long uh, multiple casualty incident simulation. And what we're doing is we're bringing together paramedics from every fire department in Shelby County to work together uh, as they would in the event of a major disaster. The drill, a bomb blast, is conducted by Mary, the Medical Education and Research Institute in Memphis, Tennessee. The nonprofit school specializes in hands-on simulation training for government, military, healthcare professionals, and students. The experience that we had upstairs uh, was very lifelike. Uh, about as close to the real thing as you can get. It's dark, it's hot, there's, you know, stuff is just in ruins, everything's turned over. You got patients under, under collapsed material, people screaming. Uh, you know, it, it's about as close to the real world as you can get without actually having a disaster. The Mary Simulation Center uses a combination of trainers, procedural labs, and lifelike patient simulators for advanced hands-on training conducted by a team of healthcare professionals. We don't get to practice this uh, ever, really. It perfects our, our skill set, is what it does. And using uh, anatomical cadavers and high fidelity simulators just brings it to life. And you can't practice this at a scene. So this, this is the next best thing. This is, this is, uh, this is the e-ticket ride at Disneyland, or you know, this is about as Hollywood as you can get okay, to make it as real as possible. The training looks real. It sounds real. It feels real. The Mary Simulation family includes the latest wireless high fidelity adult, children, and mother baby simulators. These tools and Mary's unembalmed anatomical donors create the best hands on research, education, and training available in the world. Training is all about becoming better prepared to deal with real life situations. The ability to work on actual tissue gives a surgeon uh, or a nurse or a paramedic the feel, a realistic feel, for what that procedure will actually be like in real life. But there are certain things we can't simulate with tissue alone. We, we can't simulate a patient whose breathing has become irregular. We can't simulate active bleeding. We can't simulate a cardiac arrhythmia. The program scenarios are peer-reviewed, evidence-based, and customized to fit any hands-on training need. Students' experiences can be recorded onto DVDs for later review and documentation of their mastery of advanced skills. Another thing I, I really want to emphasize about the Mary is that we can replicate the patient care process throughout the continuum. We can do pre-hospital, uh, we can do ER, OR experience, inpatient, outpatient settings, even community. For example, airway task trainers are giving respiratory therapists the ability to take over emergency intubation responsibilities independently, so patients don't have to wait for doctors to arrive. This saves lives and avoids a return to ICU. The benefit of working with human specimens is so lifelike. It's just like working in a clinical setting, except you're not going to harm anyone. You're going to get the valuable experience that you need. You're going to see the anatomical landmarks, be able to visualize it, and know what you're doing. The response that I received from the respiratory therapist surpassed my expectation. When they left to come over here, there was some anxiety and some angst, and I began to wonder, are we going to get a benefit from this? When they came back, all they could do was rave about the class. Uh, yesterday afternoon, I was in the emergency room uh, and just encountered a physician who'd gone through one of our airway courses who stopped me in the hallway. I hadn't seen him since he went through the course and said, I just want to tell you that that airway course was the most powerful educational experience I've had in the last few years. I feel that if a person comes in to our emergency room today with an acute airway emergency, I am prepared to deal with it. Goals at Mary include improved outcomes and patient safety. Mary is accredited by the AATB, the only national tissue banking organization in the U.S. It's also recognized as a simulation center of excellence. Patient safety is huge, you know, not only for us as professional nurses, 
um, but also, you know, our regulatory bodies take a look at what we do in terms of patient safety. The Simulation Center is partially funded by a grant from the Assisi Foundation of Memphis. It encompasses more than 2,000 square feet of Mary's 29,000 square foot facility with four specialized simulation rooms to provide training environments such as an OR, ER, hospital room, delivery room, or doctor's office. There's additional space for larger sessions and an adjacent 17,000 square foot facility where Mary's disaster training takes place. One of the things that's really important um, that Mary has allowed us to do is to be able to bring both hospital clinicians that deal with emergencies and those field clinicians together in one training environment. And we try to practice that a lot and do that, but this location really gives us an opportunity to really pull those groups together to do the didactic piece and to do the hands-on side by side. One of the advantages we have at Mary is the fact that we don't only teach here at our main location, we have what we term Mobile Mary, where we take the teaching literally on the road. And Mary can provide courses not only here in the United States, but we've put on courses in other countries. So we have the opportunity to teach here in Memphis, but also to teach around the country and around the world. Students include doctors, nurses, paramedics and EMTs, respiratory therapists, CRNAs, physicians assistants and other allied healthcare professionals. Simulated training can be used for patient care and safety improvements, new skills development, team training, competency assessment and orientation. In addition, Mary provides training for ACLS, BLS and PALS and also supports simulated training to address legal and risk management needs. And we know that uh, simulation uh, is able to create an environment where people have the sense of the urgency that a medical emergent event can create and also recognize that it's just not one person who needs to respond. You have to develop team appropriate management. Many institutions are using the plastic and electrical simulators to do this with great, great benefit. Mary has moved this to an even higher level. One of our main reasons for existence is to improve outcomes. The old saying that practice makes perfect, and it applies not only in day-to-day -day life, it absolutely applies in medicine. And yes, indeed, practice of the Mary does lead to better outcomes. Mary is a unique center of excellence. It can provide both lifelike simulations and human anatomic donors to provide the most effective training that will result in saving lives and developing confident, competent caregivers. To learn more about the Medical Simulation Center, contact Mary today.